Hello, everyone, and welcome to another uh, Parajumbal question. So, as we understood that the Parajumbal questions uh, are nothing but a little bit uh, tricky that uh, generally test uh, one's ability to logically rearrange a set of jumbled sentences um, into a coherent paragraph. And this type of uh, question that falls under the verbal ability section and uh, while it seems uh, straightforward, it can get uh, tricky uh, if uh, one doesn't have the right approach. So, as we understood also what parajumbled questions are, so let's go to another question of this uh, parajumbled question or paraformation question. So, here we have the direction and the direction stated here that the four sentences labeled 1, 2, 3 and 4 given below, when properly sequenced, that would produce a coherent paragraph. Decide on the proper sequence of the order of the sentence and key the sequence of the four numbers as your answer. Right. Now, let's look into it. Uh, each sentence, let's read the each sentence and try to understand what the question is pointing here. The first sentence said, the dissonance between human-like presentation and machine-like goals is at the heart of the AI boundary too, right? Now, if you talk about this particular option one, the dissonance between human-like presentation and machine-like ethos is at the heart of the AI or artificial intelligence quandary too. So this could be called as a core issue, right? Core issue. Our sentence one covers up the discussion by addressing the core issue. Uh, so the mismatch between the human-like appearance, right? And uh, you can say that uh, um, um, the mismatch between the human-like appearance of uh, AI and uh, the lack of deeper meaning, right? That is what it is pointed. The dissonance between human-like presentation and machine-like ethos is at the uh, heart of the AI quandary, so indicating about the mismatch between the human like appearance of AI and the lack of deeper meaning. Now, look at the option uh, sentence two. It is stated even a simple question such as, Shall we have a coffee? has several implicit meanings related to shared information. So, we could say that, Shall we have a coffee? is an example. Example that what? How even a simple question, we have implicit meanings related to shared information, which builds on the idea, right? So, um, now, if you look into uh, sentence three, which is stated in contrast, right? In contrast, LLMs confront us with the human-like responses that lack any deeper meaning, now, in that case, sentence three discusses how large language, right? How large language, um, a large language model, which is known as a LLM, large language, large language model, provides uh, human-like responses, but at the same time, because here it is given contrast, in contrast, large language model provides uh, human-like responses, or uh, you can say that human-like responses, but lack the deeper meaning that are presented in human interaction. So in that case, you can point out, this creates nothing but a contrast. Contrast with the what? Human communication. Human communication described earlier, you can say that. Now, if you look into the next, which is called as a, Sentence four, where it is stated, a lot goes unsaid while interacting with the humans and human output. A lot goes unsaid while interacting with the humans and human outputs. Now, this creates the con context. This creates nothing but the context because it is stated, a lot goes unsaid while interacting with the humans and human inputs. So, in that case, we can say this introduces the concept concept that a lot goes on set in human interaction, that setting up the discussion, discussion about what? Discussion about 
implicit meaning implicit uh, meanings in communication right so in that case if i look into uh, the introducing one so i can say that option 4 would be the uh, appropriate one why because option 4 stated about nothing but introduces the concept right uh, that a lot goes unsaid or not been told in human interaction and that set up the discussion about implicit meaning in communication so we can say four would be the introducing one now uh, if we look into that uh, the example uh, when you point out uh, one of the uh, discussion here or introducing the concept right so it has the example that example we find out in option two where it is stated uh, <clears throat> Even a simple question such as, shall we have a coffee, has several implicit meaning and uh, relating to shared information. So this could be called as an example of how even a simple question have implicit meaning related to shared information, which builds on the idea from sentence four, isn't it? So hence we can say four, two would be your appropriate pair. Then if you look into that, uh, four, two forms of pair, Four stated about nothing but uh, uh, identifying the core issues, and the three is nothing but introducing a uh, sorry, uh, two is uh, doing nothing but providing a specific example um, that gives an example of how even a small, simple question can have an implicit meaning related to uh, information built on the idea from sentence four. Right now, if I move to the next one. Uh, the next one could be a three because it makes a contrast, which is uh, introducing in con uh, introducing a contrast by stating that what now um, it discusses a large language model that uh, provide human like responses, but it lacks the deeper meaning that are present in human interaction. So this does nothing but uh, uh, contrasting with the contrasting with the what contrasting with the uh, human can. Uh, communication that discussed in four and two isn't it so in that case uh, we can say four two three would be a proper sequence here then the last one uh, which we can find out it's uh, option one in option one we find out that what uh, <clears throat> our sentence one that uh, covers up the discussion by stating what the dissonance between human like presentation and machine like ethos is at the heart of AI quandary too. So this could be called as a nothing but a, a covering of the discussion by addressing the core issue and uh, stating about nothing but the mismatch. So mismatch between what? Between the human-like appearance of AI and its lack of deeper meaning. So in that case, 4, 2, 3, 1 could be an appropriate sequence here, right? So hence we can say, Four, two, three, one would be a appropriate pair or appropriate uh, sequence of this paradigm question. I hope you understood this. That's all. Thank you.